Well, this is the time of the year when people who go south for the winter come back. News 8's Teresa Weekly talked with a couple who made that decision even earlier this year. Tom and Nancy Hawkinson are snowbirds who should still be in Florida right now. Our primary motivation was that this is our home. The COVID-19 outbreak forced them to fly north earlier than planned. So I think we also had to uh, worry about getting back at all uh, because we were thinking that uh, the airplanes might stop flying. The Hawkinson's neighbors down south didn't seem as concerned with the situation as they were. She had 40 people over and she, she invited us for it and I said, no, thank you, I think we won't. <laughs> so they got on a plane on March 22nd and migrated home. When we arrived for the afternoon flight, which got us into a famous Michigan snowstorm at 1030 at night, uh, <laughs> The plane was absolutely full. You couldn't, you couldn't move at all. They just took everybody from the flight they canceled and stuffed them onto the one we were on. We thought maybe they'd be asking to take our temperature or whatever, but we, there was no conversation about anything like that, uh, both when we got on the plane and when we got off the plane. No, no advice to you know try to isolate yourself for 14 days. You just came from Florida, you know. There was, was none of that. The Hawkinsons decided to self-quarantine for 14 days. They've been making masks for an adult foster care home to pass the time. Kent County health officials say not everyone has to go to that extreme. There are no domestic travel advisories uh, in the United States uh, outside of uh, travel from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Um, those people who are, you know, in the southern states right now uh, who are coming back to Michigan, I think the main uh, thing is just to be aware of the situation. Where carefulness costs nothing, they wanted to buy some peace of mind. This is home and this is this is where we where we wanted to be and where we felt safest. I've heard from other snowbirds in Florida who've decided to wait to return to Michigan now that the governor down there issued stay at home orders. If you know someone who is coming back, health officials say just make sure they follow these social distancing guidelines we're all under now. In Grand Rapids, I'm Teresa Weekly, News 8.